Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento with a 2.4 GDI engine guys. And you're trying to find the torque specs and bolt sequence for the camshaft caps. Stay with us, we'll cover that guys completely. Uh, it's a very complicated procedure because you need to do them in groups and you need to go to different passes. So all that will be covered in this video today. So this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years. For instance, they started using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016, 17, depending on the market, guys. Uh, that's a 2.4 GDI engine. So before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the garage, guys, we take them completely apart and we make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Also, guys, if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Specifically, this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on and with that being said okay uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle check our main channel auto repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so step number one we need to get a torque wrench and we need to set it at 5.9 newton meters ours is set that's a click type wrench the moment you hear a click stop immediately we're going to start with group a which is okay these two caps so listen now we'll do one a little bit here a little bit on the other side alternate That was the click, right there. Now the other one. Perfect. Next, we need to get, guys, a 12 millimeter socket for group B bolts. Uh, those are the M8 bolts, and we need to set it at 14.7 Newton meters for these bolts. 14.7 Newton meters. So. That's what we need to do now. You need to make sure everything is lubricated when you install the caps, remember, okay? This is only the Torx video, but otherwise you have to lubricate all the bearings. Okay, great. Now, we're going to go, guys, okay, still first step on, on C. Let's go this one now. Group C is this one, and after that we'll go to another group C. Okay. Perfect. Now, we come to group C. Another group C will be right here. These two caps and these two caps over there. Okay, perfect. Step number two now, guys. Okay, things will differ now a little bit. We need to go to higher torques, okay? And uh, let me just uh, set ours, uh, the little bolts now. We need to go at 10.8 to 12.7. Okay, so around 12 Newton meters we go on ours. 12 Newton meters. Okay, and we're going to do group A again, which is these two. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to go to group B, which is the M8 bolts, and it needs to be between 27.5 and 31.4 Newton meters, guys. So, 
around 30 newton meters for hours listen now louder click because more torque Now we need to go to group C right here with the same torque settings from before at around 10.8 to 12.7 and now another group C right there And this is it guys, this is the torque sequence for the camshaft caps. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.